Hello, I am Stormwind Instructor and Cybex author Will Panic. You know, I get asked a lot by my students to help them resolve an issue that they constantly have when working with virtual machines. One problem that a lot of students have run into is when they use Hyper-V in Windows Server 2012 R2 to create a virtual machine, if they try to add an external hard drive by using a USB cable, that it's not available inside of the actual virtual machine. So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to show you how to add an actual external hard drive into a virtual machine so that you can use it in that virtual machine. So what I'm going to do is let's go ahead and let's take a look at our Windows Server 2012 R2 system. Now this system here is actually running Hyper-V. And if you can see as we click on our Hyper-V system, you can see here that we have our actual Windows 8 operating system. Now right now it's currently turned off. So if I want to add a hard drive, an external USB hard drive into this Windows 8 system, I can't just plug it into the USB and have Windows 8 see it. What I need to do is, let me show you first that it's not available. If I click on settings here, and when I click on settings, I come out to my IDE controllers. If I click on add to add a new hard drive, here where it says physical hard disk, it's unavailable. I can click it all I want, and it's nothing's going to happen for me. Now this, the hard drive that I want to use is currently plugged into the actual system. It is actual disk 4, and it's a USB hard drive, it's uh, 300 gigs. So how do we actually make this available within a Hyper-V virtual machine? Well, believe it or not, this is what you have to do. You have to actually first remove the actual letter, the drive letter. So what we're going to do is we're going to go in and we're going to say change drive letter and path, and we're going to click remove. So it's going to go in and it's actually going to remove the drive letter from this hard drive. Now, this is going to seem a little weird, but I actually have to click on the disk, right click, and I have to actually tell this disk that it's no longer online. This is an offline drive now. Now that I've done that, let's go back into our Hyper-V, go to our Windows 8, go to our settings, and now when I click on IDE and I say add, you'll notice that when I click physical hard drive, that hard drive is now available as one of the choices. So I'll go ahead and I'll click apply and OK. And then what we'll do is we'll go ahead and we'll start up that virtual machine. Now once this virtual machine starts, we'll go ahead and we'll connect to it. And we'll go ahead and we'll enter into the VM. And at that point, we'll go ahead and show that this USB hard drive is now available. So let's go ahead and double click on this to open this up so you can see what I'm looking at. So I'm going to go ahead and log in real fast. So once I'm logged in here, let's go ahead and uh, let's make this full screen so you can see it a little easier. Now I'm going to go on and I'm going to click on the folder here so we can get into File Explorer. And as you can see, I now have a USB hard drive that's available for 300 gigs. And at that point, I can go ahead and do anything I want to it. I can turn BitLocker on. I can actually reformat it. I can do anything I want now with that drive. So if you want to bring an external hard drive into a Hyper-V virtual machine, you first have to go into computer management of the host machine, take away the drive letter, 
make sure you actually take the drive offline, then go into the properties of Hyper-V, click on the virtual machine that you want to add it to, add it as a hard drive, say OK, boot your VM up, and from that point on, you should have no problems. So I hope this little video helped you adding a virtual machine, get a new USB hard drive into a virtual machine. I am Stormwind Instructor and Cybex author Will Panic, and I look forward to seeing you again very soon. Thank you.